Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand spanking new episode of Saved by the Bell. This is part 10. So if you've been watching them all, make sure you check out the last nine because good God, there are so many things that have happened that it would just be so hard to sum it up within the first 30 seconds before you click off this video. So let's get back into the thing where we last left off. We headed back to uh, Screech's place so that I could uh, go and... Um, yeah, I guess meet our old pal Kevin, the robot. Uh, I did actually hit once, so that's why the previous screen wasn't showing. Anyway, let's get into it. Kevin, how you doing, man? He uh, and his new buddy, Toaster, oh yeah, because we introduced him to Toaster, so there's the whole thing, are really hitting it off. I never thought about it that way, but bread truly is just pre-toast. Kevin notices you. Greetings, Ryan. How was your day at high of high school? Long, Kevin. It was long. Perhaps you'd like to hear my findings regarding your admirer in secret. I totally forgot. What did you find out? I have good news and I have bad news. Which do you wish to hear first? Well, we always start with bad news because then you get all, then you get good news to end it. Give me the bad news. The bad news is there's a 50% chance you do not know who your secret admirer is. What's the good news? There's a 50% chance you know your secret admirer. Helpful, Kevin. Perhaps this is a mystery only a human can solve. Love is more complicated than data and numbers. You know I live to serve, but I might suggest you try finding your the admirer yourself. You're probably right. But first, you should do something about your face. My face? You rush to the mirror and... Oh no! Your face is covered in purple splotches. Yeah, just exactly. Well, in the in the TV show, you, they're maroon because that's the color of Bayside, but whatever. Uh, and yeah, that's the end of that <laughs> social butterfly. I'm a friend to all want to hang out. And let's see what we did. Uh, with Christine, you ordered Christine to make more fuel, more time fuel. Was this the right call? With Slater, you donated your miracle cream to Slater. With Lisa, Lisa appreciated your support during her zit crisis, but we didn't give it to her, so she's mad at us. Uh, you and Zach agreed to sell the miracle zit cream. So he's on our good side, but whatever. Next episode. Zach's always going to be on our good side because he's the main character. He's our secondary character, so that's what we're going to do with that. You and your newly purple splotched face arrive at the max. A number of angry students stare at you down. Their faces have also been purple-fied. Zach walks up, clearly amused by your appearance. <laughs> Looking good, Ryan. Is that your face or are you choking? Nice of him to ask. It's the time fuel. It cur uh, cures your acne, but then it turns your you purple. Oh, so this, so that's what everyone is giving me the evil eye. That's why everyone's giving me the evil eye. You can actually notice people in the background have purple faces. I thought it was a zombie inf uh, infestation. So Wait, okay, I'm sorry, I didn't read that right, and I don't know what it said. Uh, no, we're more creative than that. We should have have given out all those free samples hopefully it doesn't affect everybody who tried it oh as if on cue slater curiously enters he's using his wrestling hoodie to hide his face look it's the hunchback of bayside hi ring in any good bells today shut it preppy i'm this close to ringing your bell Say by the bell. Okay, Slater lowers his hoodie. His face has also turned purple. Look at what you, your so-called miracle cream did to me. Wait, I thought you just had back knee. Why is your face purple? Well, all the stress from the upcoming match made my face break out too. Now I can't show my back or my face. I'm going to get laughed right out off the wrestling mat. Console him, T. Slater, pump him up. Well, he's a wrestler, so we need to pump him up. You still got what it takes on the inside. Take out all your anger on Valley Wrestling. Yeah, if 
he's not too busy laughing at me. Relax, you could always join the freak show. I think they pay pretty well. Slater gives Zack a death stare. I guess show business isn't for everyone. This is all your fault. I never should have ter I never should have trusted you and your stupid cream. Slater punches his fist in frustration. Someone's gonna pay. Blame Zack. Apologize. Uh, no, no, no. I was, it was. I gave it to him. I gave it to him. Slater, I'm sorry, man. I messed up, but I promised to make it right. You better, or you'll be the next, my next opponent. Slater puts his hoodie up and p paces around angrily. Suddenly, three Valley High kids enter. Stan, Fran, and Dan. Like all Valley students, they're the worst. Even their narrator is a jerk. Looky here, boys. It's <laughs> I just realized what he said. <laughs> the narrator. Looky here, boys. It's a daycare center for all the Bayside babies. What kind of food do you think they got here? Baby food. They burst into laughter. Dan spots Slater in his wrestling hoodie. They must be... This must be the infamous Slater we've been hearing so much about. You didn't stand a ch you don't stand a chance against our guy. He's a transfer from Russia. He didn't talk. He he don't talk. He just wrestles. We call him the Destroyer. Slater stays quiet. Fran notices your outfit. Where'd you buy your hat? The dumb hat store. The Valley kids laugh at to themselves. Making fun of Slater is one thing, but the your wardrobe that's too far. Show those goons how we talk trash at Bayside. Call timeout is 28? What? <sighs> I, um, no. No. Why? I thought all the way timeouts were all free. Uh, I'm just going to talk trash. Looks like it's trash talking time. What do you want to say? You're such babies. You're so dumb. The brainstorm called. Let's do the brainstorm called. All right. Let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah, well, the brain store called, but uh, they said you're an idiot. Ooh, nice one, Ryan. That's what <laughs> I guess it's NBC. We can't really get away with a lot here. Uh, I've heard better insults in the, my grandma's sewing circle. Yeah, I hope you wrestle better than you talk trash. Ain't that right, Slater? Slater lowers his hoodie, his hood, and walks out embarrassed, all by all the attention. Looks like the big guy's running away. Probably forgot his bottle. They laugh until they notice all the purple face staring them down. Hey, what's with everybody's face? Is ugly contagious? We better get out of here before we catch... Uh, what? Basitis? Is that what that is? The Valley Kid walks... The Valley Kids walk out. Short... What? As they go... Okay, every time I hear, every time I can see chortling, I always think of that that line from uh, Silicon Valley. Well, I can't say it, but if you know it, you know it. <laughs> I hate those Valley kids so much. Why can't oh, we can't lose this wrestling match? We have to say, help Slater get his confidence back. Maybe we can do something about his purpleness. Let's see if Christine figured anything out. Great idea. Nerds always have the answers. You rush out of the max and head to the computer lab. You arrive to find Christine staring blankly at an equation riddled chalkboard. Arnold is asleep at his desk. My trusty nerds, we've got a problem. The time fuel cures acne, but then the purple polka dots your face. We need to find a cure and fast. It's a good thing you asked me a uh, to perfect the formula it took all night but i fixed the ingredients that caused the minor skin colorization minor ryan's face looks like an eggplant is there anything we can do uh, i don't know my brain feels like it's out it's about to overheat arnold is the numbers guy you can try waking him up pour cold water put a rat down his shirt gently nudge um We'll just gently nudge him. Let's just nudge him. This isn't rocket science. Zach puts down the rockets. Okay, fine. Christine gives Arnold a gentle nudge. He mutters to himself. Just five more minutes, mother. I think he, he just called you mother. 
Well, that'll haunt me for in my dreams forever. Let's just let him sleep. I'm scared of what he might say next. Any ideas of how to solve the problem of our purple problem? Christine looks up at the chalkboard. Well, the newly refined time fuel should revise the purple side effects. We made a bunch so you could use the leftovers. That's perfect. We can bottle it and sell it as a cure. We can call it Purple Be Gone. TM. Looks like Zach is on another scheme up his sleeve. What do you think? Let's get money. Let's help our friends. Uh, last time I was agreeing with him, so this time I'm just going to... Nope. We got to help our friends, man. We screwed up, man. We screwed up big. Uh, let's help our friends. We should give out the cream for free. We've done enough damage already. No need to profit from it. Zach looks crushed, but he understands. <sighs> You're right. We can't make money if everyone hates us. We need to spin it this into something positive. It's actually more about helping peep. Zach hurries toward the door. Let's go reestablish some brand loyalty. So much for Zach learning his lesson. You grab the bottles of cream and follow Zach out onto the hall, out into the hallway. You run into Screech standing outside his locker. He's still using his hoodie to hide the purple marks. Slater, I've got some great news. You got me a job as a friendly TV dinosaur. Nice, nice, nice. Even better, we found a, a cream that re reverses the side effects of the original cream. You hand him a tube of purple be gone. Slater throws it back at you. No way, I'm done falling for preppy schemes. Slater, I'm just trying to help. That's what you said last time, and now look at me. Slater storms off. You catch up with Zach further down the hallway. A huge crowd of students has begun to gather. They're more like a mob than a captive audience. All right, I tried to pitch the new product, but everybody hates me from for some reason. Maybe I have bad breath. You're a bad friend. They tell you they fell for your pitch. We broke their trust. We broke their trust, bro. Because we broke their trust. We gave out an inferior product, so why should they trust us at this time? Zach com uh, contemplates your advice. I've never thought about it like that. Maybe my actions can have lasting consequences. Is Zach Morris finally going to turn over a new leaf? But maybe you get up there and win them back. Thanks, Ryan. You're the PR team I never knew I needed. Looks like the new leaf is still growing. Better give, go save Zach's reputation. You stand on Zach's trusty soapbox and look out at the horde of students. They don't look too happy. Regardless, you jump into your pitch. Are you tired of unsightly blemishes? Are you tired of treatments for those blemishes making purple patches? Then you need purple be gone. You hold up a bottle. The crowd is understandably skeptical. Zach disguises his voice to get things started. Who cares? Yeah, why should I, uh, an ordinary student, purchase this product? The unruly crowd joins in in with Zach's heckling. Settle them down with your best selling pitch. No more purple, it's extra strength. It works instantly. It works instantly. Purple Be Gone works instantly. With school pictures right around the corner, do you f have time for anything else? This catches the crowd's attention, especially the ones with purple faces. You're winning over some students, but the crowd is still unsure. Nobody's favorite hall monitor chimes in. You said that yesterday, and now our faces are purple. Why should we trust you this time? Prove to them you're trustworthy. It, I'll use it on myself. Try it, Greg. It's nerd tested. I'll use it myself. If it doesn't work, would I use it myself? You apply the cream to your own face. Within seconds, the purple be gone. The purple purple begins to fade. The crowd responds with an odd ooh. Wow, that shut me up. The crowd is starting to get into it. Great job for winning them over. Keep it up. Hit the crowd with a big slogan to close the deal. Just cure it. It's purple cleaner upper. It's the purple cleaner upper. You're probably yeah. Let's go with that. It's the purple be gone. The market's only purple cleaner upper. The crowd eats up your slogan like a steak dinner. S Zach smiles to himself. Wow, he's good. Everyone call 
clamors for a bottle of purple be gone. You and Zach can't give them away fast enough. That is until Mr. Belding enters. All right, everyone settle down. Can't this school go one day without having an action in the an auction in the hallway? Everybody get to their get to the auditorium. It's time for your school pictures. The crowd grumbles and heads towards the auditorium. Mr. Belding's eyes the eyes the remaining tubes of Pearl be gone. He suddenly subtly slides a tube into his bat, uh, breast pocket. You enter the auditorium where the school picture shoot is set up. You hop on stage and get in line behind Lisa. Hi, Lisa. You seem excited. I am. I found a pose that perfectly hides my zit. Congrats. Now nothing can stop your modeling career. I'm just glad my face isn't purple. You know, Ryan, there's something I've been meaning to tell you. Your ears perk up. If Is she going to confess to writing the love note? That would be a turn. I don't know how that happened. What is it? It's your hat. It's so silly. It's a little distracting. The theater department keeps all their stuff backstage. I found a big trunk of costumes and props. Let's go find something more fun to wear for your picture. Sure, Lisa. That sounds great. You and Lisa head backstage. You find a giant trunk filled with costumes and props. Lisa beams with excitement. Isn't it awesome, Ryan? The best part is that it's all ours for the taking. Why don't you pick out a new outfit to throw on? You find a worn-in leather jacket and try it on. What the heck? I don't want to look like John Travolta from Greece. This makes you. This makes for a cool yearbook photo or yearbook picture. Wear your current outfit, or let's. Nah. Uh, I don't know what that does. I don't know what that would do, but I. Just bear with me, guys. There is a there is a thing I'm gonna do. There's a thing I'm gonna do. I'm and besides, this doesn't even look that bad. I, I'm okay with clothes. No, I'm gonna keep current clothes. You're keeping your outfit. Bold move. I like the confidence confidence you have in your fashion set selection. It usually takes me three closets to get dressed. Closets. You and Lisa uh, excitedly head back to the front of the stage. You reach the front of the line, and Barry hands you your school picture form. Hi there, Ryan. Barry, you're the school photographer. Can't be a guy. Can't a guy be secretly into dancing and photography? How many secrets do you have? Barry gives you a weary smile. That's a secret. Now, what do you want to uh, for your backdrop? We tripled the budget and got three to choose from this year. Bayside emblem, lasers, or... Oh, dude, lasers. Lasers does scream, like, 90s. Generic gradient. Uh, I'm going to do lasers, man. Give me the lasers. Ex excellent choice. Excellent. Uh, I can't possibly see this decision not holding up in 30 years. Okay, it may not hold up in 30 years. Now that we've got your backdrop selected, sit here in this uncomfortable chair. You struggle to sit down and put your feet on the X. Okay, here we go. One, two. Now strike your best pose. Model pose, funny pose, professional smile. Dude, we're gonna, we're gonna model pose. You pose like a fashion model. So chic. Uh, from the sidelines, Lisa's jaw drops. Why didn't I do that? Snap. Barry takes your photo and smiles. You know, I think this is some of my best work. Thanks. Just as you get off stage, a river of students rush past. It's time for the big wrestling match, and we're going to find out what that's going to be in the next episode. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to watch more, make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you tap the bell button. Get notified when the video gets uploaded. Also, links are in the description below from Primal Target's social media. You can follow me personally, at Ryan at Emore, on all social medias. Instagram is where I'm normally at. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much going to be it. Go check out Ashton over there on Mixer.com slash primal target that is our live streaming platform that we choose and we chose it before ninja so there you go uh ladies and gentlemen we'll see you guys in the next episode in part 11 where we will see the wrestling match good night everybody yeah right. put in more onions put in more onions
Come on, come on, come on, come oh on. Go. I, I need more onions! I need more onions! <laughs> Where's the dishwasher? The dishwasher's all the way on the other end. <laughs> oh my god, here, take these. Take these and chop them. Take these and chop them. I'm coming. Oh god, I don't want that. The oh soup! God, the soup. <laughs> it needs another onion! 